Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Woodley Wanderers. Wanderers. What's up, everybody? It's Jamon. And Monique. And guys, in this video, guys, we got the chance to go to Cairo, Egypt. And guys, what an experience that we had. So in this video, we're going to talk to you about the top things to do when you visit Cairo, Egypt. But first, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Yes, do all that, guys. I'm sure you're going to find some content or some value in what we talk about. And hopefully, you guys get to see the world like we do. So. So, I mean, one thing about Cairo is of all the places that I've been in the, the entire world, Cairo is my number one place. Yeah. So I, people always ask me, okay, what are your top three uh, places that you love visiting across the world? Like Egypt, <laughs> so Cairo <laughs> is number one. So um, true, so true. And throughout this video, I'll talk, tell you a little bit more why it's my most favorite. That's right, so let's get started guys. So. When we came to Cairo, guys, it was actually Monique's birthday week uh, journey, one of her birthday presents that I was able to do for Monique that year. And we flew into Cairo. And when we flew into Cairo, guys, we got to see not only just the city of Cairo, but we got to see new Cairo, which is like a whole new development. The president's kind of putting in so we can boost tourism, all that good stuff. Uh, super beautiful, brand new. There's like no cars on the road on a, on a plane looking down. Um, it's definitely going to be something something to see when it, everything is all said and done. One thing I found interesting as we flew into Cairo is that when you look down, everything is red. Yeah. So like red clay, yeah. kind of red desert. Uh, I thought that was very interesting because, you know, if you fly into LAX or you fly into most cities, you see city. So <laughs> I thought that was extremely interesting. Super dope. We hit the ground running though. So we went straight to the, the hotel that we went to and we wanted to find this place that was kind of very close to the Egyptian museum. And we found a place and literally guys, we hit the ground running. One thing about the hotel though. So it was in a very interesting building. Uh, for the most part, the entire building was abandoned. Uh, so we literally go into this abandoned building like, no, this can't yeah, be it. It was like kind of like on a, a dirt road, off of a dirt road yeah. or path off the main street. We're like, no, this can't be it. Yeah. So we take, we go into the building, we take an elevator up. Boy. As we're going up, there's like a, nothing in each floor, abandoned. Abandoned, just nothing there. <laughs> and then when the elevator, ding, at the fourth floor we walk out and we see like oh man now this floor was yeah. completely done yeah that was nice. interesting yeah <laughs> the layout was super nice we had a little guy there waiting for us mm -hmm. knew our names when we arrived super dope but like she said going in it was a little sus mm -hmm. you know like <laughs> damn like we're gonna get robbed <laughs> but it was all yeah. good so after we checked in, then we went to the museum. So uh, the museum is very outdated, um, still really, really nice, but outdated. Mm -hmm. And I know while we were there, uh, they were planning to build a huge uh, museum near the Giza pyramids. When you go inside guys, like one thing that I would do regret is we didn't get a guy. I wish I did because when you go inside, it's so big, so much to see, so much history. Cause you gotta keep in mind, like. This is like 5,000 years worth of Egyptian history all in this one building. And yes, they have things that's laid out where you can see and read and stuff like that and mm -hmm. do your own tour. But you wanna know a story. Mm -hmm. You wanna know a journey of the Pharaoh. You wanna know the journey of one of the Queens and things of that nature. And uh, we just didn't have that. So it's one of the things that I wish that we did before going to the museum. Yeah, so we were able to maneuver our way around the museum. So they had a really, really cool mummy exhibit yeah, that I loved. Uh, so unfortunately you couldn't take pictures inside, no. but once you, you could go in and look at the different mummies yeah. and how they were wrapped up. So yeah. that was really, really cool. You had to pay like, I think $10, $10 to get in there, but it was worth it. Was it was worth it. It's called the Royal Mummy Hall. Pretty dope, definitely something you have to do. It's only 10 bucks, but hey, when are you gonna see a mummy? You know, like a real mummy, <laughs> body inside and everything. You know, so uh, that was pretty dope. Um, from this museum, we navigated, like I said, on our own and pictures and we actually doing like, you know, monuments of what they were doing <laughs> in some of the pictures and we had some fun with it. Uh, but we learned so much about the Egyptians and how brilliant they really were. Mm -hmm. yeah. After that, we went to a souvenir shop. So the souvenir shop is the Khan El Khalil Market. Yeah, so we went to this little market guys and it's actually one of the largest markets in Egypt. In fact, it's like 500 years old 
of history of this particular market. That is like a maze. She's pretty much navigating from one place to another, lanes, alleys, and so forth. And, and it was fun because we got to navigate and bar bargain with other people. And you know, the, a lot of the local vendors were like, hey, you from America? Oh, mama, LeBron, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Kind of get your attention to come into their shop. And I think at one point, you know, I just told a guy like I was from Canada. He's like, and he's like stuck, like, I don't know what to say about Canada. <laughs> and all of a sudden he blurted out, Canada dry. Like, yeah, Canada dry. Like, <laughs> yeah. But uh, they tried their best to kind of bridge that gap with some form of where you're from and bring it up. Oh, I have a cousin there, oh, I have a relative there. It was pretty fun to engage. One thing about the people also in uh, Cairo is, you know, obviously we're black. Yeah. <laughs> so every time people see us, they'd be like, oh, my brother, my sister. Yeah. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Nubians, mm -hmm. yeah. We felt welcome for sure. Um, Egyptians made it feel really, really welcome when we got there from the beginning to the end. Another cool thing that we did, we had we went on a dinner cruise on the Nile. Oh, so yeah. that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had dinner, they sat us down, and then there was the show. So a belly dancer, and another, I guess, traditional uh, Egyptian male dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guy was like spinning like this little lights and stuff, and I'm trying to like take pictures and video, but the guy's moving so fast, I couldn't really get it all. <laughs> but uh, it was pretty dope, you know, and the sunset was coming down, so we got to see some, the sunset on the Nile River. You know, you learn about the Nile like in the elementary school, like the largest river in the world, it's the Nile. And we got a chance to actually ride on a boat, eat dinner, and watch the sunset come down on the, the Nile River, which is dope. Yeah, and that was through a, a tour, which we purchased on Baye. Mm -hmm. So all of the tours that we did on this particular trip, we got from Baye. Yeah, yeah, great mm -hmm. tool. And then, of course, uh, the largest, most important thing that we did in Cairo is we took a tour with a guide to see the pyramids of Giza. Yeah, the Sphinx, uh, a, couple, a couple different pyramids. Uh, but yeah, amazing. amazing, 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 guys. The pyramids of Giza, the Sphinx of Giza, um, got to see all that. We actually got to go inside some of the pyramids. And, you know, if you get the guy inside a tip, let you use your phone to like take pictures and videos and things of that nature which is so super super cool yeah and the reason why i you know cairo is my number one favorite place that i've been to is because of that experience like never in my life had i imagined that i would be inside of a pyramid yeah. in egypt yeah. africa yeah. so and this the thought that you know when you go down into the pyramid it's like it's literally an enclosed area and you, you literally crouching have to down crouch down yeah. so the fact that you know they were able to create these magnificent buildings which are you know not anywhere else in the world um is awesome yeah. um i also love that in one of the remnants of a pyramid we saw hieroglyphics yeah that was awesome yeah. amazing that was so dope because yeah. you know the egyptians did a very good job of documenting their history so you can't like say no they did this no they'll show you what they did years ago so it can't be tainted and uh set a different way which is super dope kind of like the chinese chinese did a very good job doing that too we went to china but the egyptians did a really good job of documenting their history so that you know the next generation will know exactly what they did and how they did things yeah and the sphinx was also really cool uh you know we took the traditional pictures where you put your uh picture your um sunglasses to the sphinx, the sphinx yeah, so yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> i uppercut the dude yeah <laughs> we did the traditional tour stuff yeah oh one other thing that we noticed um on our tour to the pyramids is that all of the tour guys the egyptian tour guys speak several different languages mm -hmm. like german french yeah. spanish I just think Mandarin. that is amazing. Yeah. So anybody around the world can get around just fine if you don't speak the language of Arabic or anything like that or English. Uh, trust me, there's a guide for you that will be able to navigate and show you the way around Cairo um, with your language. So total travel time, I would say that you need is only about two day, two yeah, nights, two nights, two nights. You can get in there, do a Nile River tour like we did, see the museum, uh, see the pyramids. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about <laughs> it. Yeah, pretty much. You got to see the, the history, and you get to see, you know, how the locals live and how they shop, the markets, things of that nature. And um, yes, you get to go on camels. We got on camels too. Mm -hmm. You yes, know, which is pretty dope. Yeah, Moni mm -hmm. rode a camel. I was afraid. <laughs> yeah, but she did it anyway. And as a note, 
uh, we went to Egypt as like an add-on. Uh, we actually went to Greece, mm -hmm. uh, to, Ath to Athens and Santorini. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, well, we're so close yeah. to Egypt. Why don't we just go? So yeah. we added on the two days. Yeah. And obviously, you know, there are other parts of uh, Egypt that you can go see in addition to Cairo. Mm -hmm. But Cairo is definitely a must, must see. Mm -hmm. um, as Monique says, one of the reasons why it's her favorite places, all those things. Definitely check out Cairo, guys. It's definitely one of a kind place, which is why it's one of the wonders of the, the world. It's definitely a phenomenal place to go. Well, there you have it, guys. You know, our journey, our adventure to Cairo. We went to the Sphinx. We went to the pyramids. We went on the Nile River. Guys, we did <laughs> we did so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed our journey in Cairo just as much as we did. So again, get ready to like, get ready to share, and definitely subscribe to the channel because we are the Willy Wanderers, baby. And we yeah, out here. Yeah.